Hello and welcome to the demo of the Public Power Knowledge Base Notebooks. This repository here provides the NASA Power Projects trainings, tutorials, and notebooks that have been made available to the Power community via website posting, publications, conferences, and training workshops. To open the trainings and tutorials in a JupyterLab environment, you can click on this My Binder badge below right here, Launch Binder. Um, I've already launched a session here for a notebook because sometimes it can take a few minutes to spin up. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and walk through some of the notebooks that we have in the repository. Um, there's uh, quite a few notebooks. I'm just going to walk through a handful of them, but you're welcome to check out all of them uh, at your own time. So the first notebook I'm going to walk through is this demo notebook. Um, this is an instructional notebook to ensure the showcase is developed by NASA's power will execute. Um, so this is really just going to show you how to um, get uh, this is going to show you how to uh, get NASA power data from AWS ODR S3. Um, so I'm going to run through this real quick. First, we're just going to import our required modules. And here you can see we're just going to print out the version number of each module that we're using. And then we're going to define the inputs here. Um, so these are our example parameters, start and end dates, latitude and longitude. But of course, you can use um, any any parameter start and end date and latitude or longitude that you want that's within our uh, acceptable ranges. And then here we're going to go ahead and download the daily temperature at two meters data. Um, and it's going to convert degrees from Kelvin to Celsius. And then we're going to read uh, from the czar file hosted in AWS S3 and convert into a pandas data frame. So we're going to run this real quick. And in a second, it's going to output here. It's going to output our uh, our run times here, and it's going to output just the head of our data. Um, so this is just a very quick demo on how you can get data from uh, AWS uh, ODRS3. OK, so now I'm going to run through a couple of the notebooks. We've got them uh, organized in three different folders, data access, data analysis, and data visualization. So we're going to start with this data access folder. This has seven notebooks. I'm just going to run through two real quick for the purposes of this demo. Um, the first one is an API tutorial. So this is an instructional notebook to showcase uh, accessing NASA's power data from API service to create climatological and period extreme values and other data and other types of data plots. So again, we're going to start off just loading our Python modules. And then we're going to go ahead and pick a temporal level for the analysis. You can pick either daily or hourly. Um, and we're going to go ahead and run daily for this. And then we're going to go ahead and enter our range start and end dates. Um, so you can see there differ the uh, dates available differ for hourly and daily and for um, sol solar and meteorology data. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just run 2001 here. And then you can pick a location. You can pick any latitude and longitude you want. We're going to do uh, London Heathrow Airport for this example. And then you can pick you pick at least two parameters to compare. Here we listed four parameters. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and construct the API URL. So here is our base URL right here. And we're going to go ahead and add in the um, variables that we've set above into this query URL. And then when we run it, it will go ahead and print what our API URL is going to be, what our API URL is going to look like. And then we can use this API URL um, to request the data using um, our request.get. And then we're going to load it with our JSON load. Um, and then after that runs, our last step is, our second to last step is turning our API response dictionary into a pandas data frame. Uh, so here we can see the head of our data frames. So this is the data we requested with the uh, API um, right here. And lastly, we can just run, we're just running a quick um, describe call here to get uh, some descriptive statistics on the data we just uh, requested. And finally, we can also get some metadata parameters, or the parameter metadata here. So that is our API access tutorial. Um, the second 
data access notebook I'm going to run through is just quickly the API CSV response. Um, so this is very similar, but instead here we can um, get a CSV returned instead of um, the dictionary and the JSON from the last step. Um, so here again, we're going to just use our pandas read CSV with, uh, with our API URL. And it will go ahead and read, um, read in our data and then return us the head of our data frame. Uh, so there's several other data access notebooks around here that you can um, use for tutorials on how to access data in different formats. Uh, next year we have a data analysis. This just has two notebooks. I'm just going to run the first one real quick for us. Uh, the computing anomalies notebook. So this is an instructional notebook to showcase accessing the NASA power data from API service um, and direct access to power data from AWS uh, Open Data Registry S3 bucket to create anomaly, anomalies data plots. Again, we'll start off by loading our packages. And then we'll go ahead and define our inputs. Again, these uh, you can use any parameter to start and then and, and latitude and longitudes um, that you want that are within the range of our data. And so here we're going to go ahead and load uh, data from AWS ODR S3 like we did in the demo notebook. So this is going to print out the head of our data. And then we're going to go ahead and um, run this make anomalies uh, function on the data we've just uh, on the data we've just requested um, and so we can go ahead and get the anomalies uh, from this make anomalies function um, for the each month in our uh, time period so we just had 2001 here so here are the anomalies for each month and then uh, we can just use matplotlib real quick here to visualize the uh, visualize our anomalies so we're going to get quickly just a um, simple histogram and a simple line plot and of course you can use many other data visualization techniques um, or packages to visualize this data so it's just a real quick um, demonstration and finally we've got some data visualization notebooks here so again we've got six different data visualization notebooks um, of demos and tutorials i'm just going to run through two of them real quick uh, we'll start with this data set evaluation so this instructional notebook um, showcases accessing the power data from AWS ODRS3 to load data and create data plots. Again, we'll start off by importing our required modules. And then we'll load the data from AWS S3 again. And here we can see that um, this is just going to um, we've just picked one variable here and it's just going to help us visualize the dimensions of the variable this is um the chunk uh functionality here and then finally we can just quickly plot our parameter with matplotlib and here we go for our um for the perimeter we've chosen we get a quick plot here um so that's very basic um and we'll also go through real quickly this Hurricane Ian animation. So this is an instructional notebook to showcase rendering a time series animation of Hurricane Ian for power data. Again, we'll start off, we'll import our packages, um, our modules, and we will request uh, the data. We'll get the data from AWS S3 as we've shown in the other notebooks. Um, here, we're just gonna use a uh, single variable here at these lat sliced latitude and longitudes. And then at these uh, dates here. Um, so we've subset our data. And now we're going to uh, set up some plotting. And we're going to go ahead and plot the animation of our data um, across latitude and longitude 
uh, for a single time here. And we've got several other data visualization notebooks showcasing some different things that you are welcome to come in and uh, look at, um, as well as some other tutorials. Um, so, uh, yes, thank you.